Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Like and subscribe. Yeah. Ditch your plastic bath sponge and replace it with a cotton. Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel and for our second installment of our zero waste replacement mini series. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel for the finale of this zero waste mini series. Our first video was a beginner list of 20 products that people can either replace or swap when their items have either run out or break down on them. If you haven't seen that video yet, I highly recommend going back and watching that one first. Feel free to click the link above. So let's get started. Again, for all the products that I'm going to be talking to you about today, make sure that you're replacing these as items run out or they break down on you and you're just kind of swapping them with newer and better options. Going zero waste isn't about throwing everything out and replacing it with new items that were perfectly good before. It's about really making better swaps as things run out or then break down on you. For our first intermediate swap, I wanted to talk about reusable cloth paper towels. I think a lot of times people are kind of grossed out by the, the idea or a little bit hesitant, but what you don't realize is how many paper towels you're just throwing into the trash can. It can add up expense-wise and waste-wise. My favorite part about this swap is that they're so easy to use, you can quickly grab one from a roll, clean up your mess, pop it into a jar, and then wash everything together. It makes it a lot easier, it's a lot simpler, and it's going to save you a lot of money over time. And if you have pets and you don't think that maybe cloth paper towels are a good idea for you, opt for more of a sustainable option and get bamboo paper towels because they will actually be a lot better on our planet and will be a little bit better for you too. We've had our cloth paper towels for about two years now and besides a couple stains, they're actually pretty perfect. I don't see them going anywhere anytime soon. If you take care of these cloths, they could potentially last you a lifetime. Ideally, I like to keep these separate from my cloth paper towels and use them for events when friends come over or parties, but it's always really nice to have something on hand that you don't just throw away. And can we start seeing how all this extra savings is starting to snowball? How many of you are coffee lovers like myself? When I used to have a Keurig machine, I used to have tons of those little plastic K-cups. And when you realize you can't recycle those from the office to home, it really creates a big plastic problem. A quick fix is opting for a K-cup where you can put your own coffee in it and refill it whenever you would like to make the perfect cup of coffee. If you're looking for another alternative, opt for French press coffee as well. You can add your own coffee grounds and make coffee just as easily as a Keurig. If the concept of chewing your toothpaste doesn't seem to work for you, then you can opt for toothpaste within a glass jar that's easy to recycle and helps reduce consumption. On the topic of oral care, not only can you have toothpaste tablets, but you can have mouthwash tablets as well. They're super easy. You just take one out of the jar and you pop it in a glass of water. Gargle and you're good to go. It's always nice to keep a small container of them in your purse or backpack so you can actually have fresh breath wherever you go and you won't need any plastic bottles or extra waste. Lots of items that you buy at the grocery store are stored in unnecessary packaging, from plastic to paper to all sorts of different things. What we've realized is you can find most of your essentials like rice and oatmeal and salt and pepper in the bulk section and bring them home and store them in glass jars. I've also found that shopping in bulk is much more affordable. You'd be surprised to see how much you're actually paying for all of that extra packaging and brand name. Going zero waste isn't about all the items we buy every day. It's about what we do in our homes as well. Reducing electricity and water really does make a large difference and can save you a lot of money in the long run. Installing a water saving shower head can reduce your water consumption by up to 40%. 
which means you're using less resources without even having to think about it. Ditch your plastic bath sponge and replace it with a cotton washcloth. Mold can breed in those pl plastic bath sponges from the oil and dead skin cells that we're scrubbing off of our body. When you replace that with a washcloth, you can easily wash it after every use and you won't have to leave it in the shower to get moldy. If you take care of these products and sanitize them as needed, they can last you a lifetime. And if for whatever reason they rip or tear, you can throw them in the compost or recycle them as well. Skincare and makeup products are a part of our everyday lives, but most of these are in plastic containers that cannot be recycled. When you refill these options or replace them, opt for brands that provide these products in glass, bamboo, or recycled materials. You'd also be surprised at your local bulk stores what that you can refill on your own. From witch hazel to body lotion to shampoo and conditioner, you can bring your own jars and refill them as well and get rid of packaging altogether. Traditional lighters are made from plastic and filled with lighter fluid. Those items cannot be recycled. Opting for matches is a lot more eco-friendly way to go. Those can easily be composted in your trash, or if you don't like matches, feel free to use a rechargeable lighter and you can use it as much as you want and save money. Most wrapping paper can't be recycled or reused. On average, these items are thrown away within the first 60 seconds of even using them, which is a huge strain on us environmentally. Opt for wrapping your gifts with cloth, brown paper, newspaper, or any other papers that come in any of your online shipments. Not only is it important for us to reduce consumption, but it's just as important to reuse the things that we already have. Especially as products run out, we're left with jars and cans and different items that can easily be upcycled. Gift wrapping is just one example. So there you have it, another 12 items to add to your zero waste swap list. And if you're keeping track and watched our beginner video, that's 32 products that you can use to help change your zero waste journey. If you've been following our mini series on zero waste, drop a comment below and let us know which swap is your favorite and which one you're looking most forward to changing. Thanks so much for watching. See you guys again next time.